Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Following the Nexperia incident, financial media in many countries have focused their attention on the matter. The reason is simple, this is not merely a dispute between Chinese companies and the Netherlands, but also concerns the operational prospects of overseas companies in the European market. Imagine a country that can forcibly seize actual control of a company under the pretext of national security, without giving the company any window or time for explanation. Who would dare do business with that country? After the incident escalated, China repeatedly stated its position, but the Netherlands has been evasive and unwilling to return actual control to the Chinese company. Faced with this situation, the chain reaction triggered by the Nexperia incident immediately emerged. Recently, Dongfang Precision disclosed a major asset sale plan, announcing the sale of its corrugated cardboard production line business to a subsidiary of Buffen Group for Euro 774 million in cash. The transaction includes 100% equity in three companies, including the Italian Fosper Group. 774 million euros, representing 67.2% of revenue, Dongfang Precision's core assets in Europe were sold off overnight. This sudden move caught Europe off guard and served as a wake-up call for all Chinese companies still hesitant. While the alarm bells from Nexperia are still ringing, an even larger scale withdrawal has already quietly begun. And as Chinese companies collectively press the exit button, what will be the ultimate outcome of the Dutch government's meticulously planned national security drama? It is understood that between 2014 and 2019, Dongfang Precision acquired the Italian Fosper Group and the Spanish Taruna piece by piece, with press releases at the time filled with grand pronouncements of global layout, industrial upgrading, and internationalization milestones. Back then, who could have imagined that these key overseas assets would be packaged up and put up for sale in 2025? The company's announcement that its international management radius is too long sounds like a polite remark, but every word is dripping with pain. Video conferences spanning seven or eight time zones, endless adjustments between cross-cultural teams, and compliance costs across regulatory systems. These invisible drains are slowly but surely eroding the company's energy. When the clouds of geopolitics rolled in, these once international assets instantly became exposures to risk. The months-long investigation into Nixperia served as a wake-up call for all Chinese companies with significant assets in Europe. While Dongfang Precision's business doesn't involve sensitive technologies, the winds have shifted and who can guarantee it won't face subsequent suppression. The base price of Euro 774 million, plus lock-in interest and potential bonuses of up to Euro 25 million, doesn't appear to be a loss on paper. The buyer is a financial investor under the US-based Buffing Group, not an industry competitor. This also means that the transaction won't have a significant negative impact on Dongfang Precision's business, and leaves room for approval in multiple countries. In fact, Dongfang Precision's decision was not accidental. Following the Nexperia incident, more Chinese companies are accelerating the development of their domestic supply chains and transferring key overseas technologies and assets to operate domestically. With Chinese government intervention and wing tech technologies repeated appeals to the Netherlands, this incident remains unresolved, becoming a core reason for many Chinese companies to avoid risk. Currently, Dongfang Precision, having sold its European assets, is betting on the fields of marine power and embodied intelligent robots. For a company primarily engaged in corrugated cardboard and marine engines, this represents a major business transformation and restructuring. Now, the situation the Netherlands did not want to see has officially materialized. Firstly, the Nexperia incident made Chinese companies aware of the risks. To avoid further escalation of risks, 
more Chinese companies will inevitably follow Dongfang Precision's example and prematurely dispose of some of their European assets. This will be a significant blow to the European business environment. With declining overseas investment, Europe will have to rebuild its low to mid end manufacturing sector, facing competition from Chinese companies. Given current energy and labor costs in Europe, it is almost impossible for Chinese companies to succeed in the market if they undertake low to mid end manufacturing themselves. When that happens, the other side will inevitably have to bear a greater cost if they want to bring Chinese companies back. Secondly, with Chinese companies accelerating their expansion, the transformation and upgrading of the domestic industrial chain is accelerating. In other words, China can achieve independence and self-sufficiency in industrial chains such as new energy vehicle manufacturing and high-end mobile phone manufacturing. Under this situation, Europe is abusing the concept of national security to target the supply chains of Chinese companies. This will inevitably lead to a further increase in the costs for European automakers, further diminishing the competitiveness of European products compared to Chinese companies. In the future, key industrial chains and product manufacturing will return to the domestic market and Europe will no longer be able to seize market share and standard-setting power through similar means. Essentially, the Netherlands' attack on Nexperia is the same as the US's attack on China's chip industry. Both are attempts to create excessive profits for the country by monopolizing related industrial chains. However, the reality is that most of Nexperia's chip products are based on mature process technologies. These products can be manufactured domestically by Chinese chip factories without relying on the European supply chain. This move by the other side has split the supply chain in two, with European automakers suffering the most. Finally, unlike China's previous restraint, in the context of the Nexperia incident, China has taken countermeasures such as rare earth and chip controls. This shows that China still has many tools in its toolbox for dealing with the Netherlands' actions that it hasn't used yet. Whether it's Dongfang Precision's proactive sale of European assets or Wingtech Technologies' lawsuit against the Dutch government, China is not without countermeasures. It's just that the time hasn't come to use them. When the Netherlands truly decides to go all out, it's very likely that the entire European supply chain will be dragged down. What are your thoughts on this? Feel free to leave a comment and discuss.